Saqqara, Egypt. In the shadow of the world's oldest pyramid, renowned Egyptologist Dr. Ramadan Hussein and his team of archaeologists are investigating a groundbreaking new site. This is one of the most beautiful mummies I have ever seen in my life. A two and a half thousand year old funeral home where ancient Egyptians, rich and poor, were mummified and buried deep underground. What makes the site so special is that nothing remotely like it has ever been found before. Personally, I never thought I would be making discoveries like this. We were always collecting information about ancient Egyptians, but a discovery of this magnitude is absolutely unprecedented in Egyptian archaeology. The first clue that this is no ordinary site is a deep pit carved from solid limestone. We made a big discovery in the form of an intact shaft. It's about 13 meters deep. At this point, I've realized this shaft is an embalmer's cachette, a hiding place that the ancient Egyptian embalmers used to collect all the tools and the vessels they used during mummification. The team has also found other deep shafts. Now it's using the latest laser scanning technology to take its investigations to the next level. We use a laser scanner to get the big picture of the whole site. We're doing the two scans, put them over there. To reconstruct the whole site with all context, with all objects in high resolution. By stitching dozens of scans together, the team is mapping the complex both above ground and below. The scans reveal a network of shafts and passageways stretching nearly a hundred feet down and leading to a set of burial chambers untouched for thousands of years. From the style of pottery found in the shaft, the chambers have all been dated to around 600 BC, when the practice of mummification was at its peak. It's Ramadan's mission to decode this sprawling site and rewrite the book on mummification and burial in ancient Egypt. <laughs> 